So, so the thing I see a lot um, as part of this whole piece around negotiation strategy is, is it, and where it doesn't work very well, is where people think negotiating means proving that they're right, and that they have the answer to the problem and that the other side is wrong. And when that is used as a negotiating tactic in mediation, it tends not to work because that's not what the process is about. Um, so if, as an advisor, you spend all of your time, whether in the opening or in private caucus sessions with the mediator, constantly rehearsing the issues, trying to prove in opening session to the other side that they're right, or indeed to the mediator that somehow your position is right, is ultimately not going to be a really pro a very productive way of negotiating. And so as the lawyers, you kind of need, uh, or the advisors, step back from the issues yes have them have have the merits of the case very much in your mind which you will undoubtedly do but then also remember that the process itself is about finding creative solutions which don't focus on who's right and who's wrong but talk about broader interests uh, 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 and what the client needs rather than what the client wants or what the client has been told is the right or wrong answer and as I often say to people when they're involved in uh, preparing for mediation, uh, is, uh, you know, particularly in that opening session, uh, is it really going to be helpful to just simply rehearse your case as if you were presenting your case at trial? Well, I have yet to see a situation where a party in that opening session presents their case, focusing on the merits, and the other side says, well, of course, if you'd have just told me that before, of course you are right, and I completely agree with your case, and I completely accept that you're going to win, and therefore please tell me how much money I should pay you. It just doesn't happen that way.